I just got off an interesting call with a condom company. They um, brand new to the market, beautifully packaged. It's right in where it should be. However, they haven't been able to develop a competitive path to market because they haven't had the shot. They haven't had the ability to increase their volume to a point where their costs go down so that they have the margin that people are requiring for distribution, logistics, fees, etc. So you know, there's an opportunity there. But when we're looking at a newer product like this, unfortunately, with this kind of a space where it's flooded and you know, there are cheap competitors and you know, you're coming in with a premium product, to get to that point, where he has to sell a lot of product to get a order size large enough where he can drop the price and start profiting. He's gonna to have to eat the cost. And you know, we spoke about it on this call. So he's at a $5 uh, cost on his side. He is selling for $10 in the stores. Um, you know That's gonna to have to move to $12, $13. And of that $12, $13, He's going to be probably losing after everybody takes their money, uh, probably a dollar or two a pack. But from that, the opportunity on the back end is that he's got an expiration date on these. Like they're going to expire if they don't sell. He's not going to be able to sell them in bulk enough to make that volume and to bring those opportunities unless he takes that loss initially. You know, and that's one of the hardest things for to an entrepreneur to suffer is you know that loss that you're not making money and you're you're losing money every time you sell something it, we see it a lot online with online businesses and unfortunately with this kind of a thing when you're going to the point where you're working a commodity business you have to sell such volume to make any kind of profit and to work up to the point where you can sell that kind of volume usually takes time takes a lot of money on the front end and you really have to believe in the line. So you can stick it out and be successful at the end of the day or you can lose your shirt. You know, it's one of those timing things that has a lot to do with luck and a little bit to do with uh, you know, skill. So when bringing a path to market for this kind of a line, the best thing that we can do is really to give them clear information so we're putting them together with distributors so that they can get that direct feedback from the stores find out how it's selling where it's selling what merchandising oppor uh, opportunity it's going in if it's going to be on a clip strip or behind the counter uh, there's going to be a lot of different things that he can learn from having the product out there on the shelf to find out if it's viable and the stores they're going to start discounting that down to the point where it does sell. So if they start selling it at 15, they're going to drop down to 14, 13, 12 until it starts moving. Um, but you know, when you're launching a new product, you don't know these things. These are the unknowns. And you, unfortunately, when you're in the innovator, you don't know until you put it out there. So my hat's off to them. You know, we're really looking to give them an opportunity for that. Um, if any of this resonated with you, I hope you hit the like button. You know, we'd love to hear about your business on the comments below. And if you want to hear more of these kind of videos, please subscribe to our channel.